Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. Do you want to come and have a chant, Hanlon, when you're ready? A, yeah? a what? A bit of chanting. What do you chant? I chant Nam Yo Ho Renge Kyo. Oh, you do the Buddhist chant. Mm -hmm. The reason I'm depressed right now is because it's January. January. I've always got this in January. I get depressed, I get morbid, I can't see any good in anything, I get negative. That's the best time to chant. Turn it all around. I chant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what am I hungry? Did you I've just pressed well, it. Girlfriend. We're both going. No. <laughs> Bitch. Hello, Chantelle. Oh, what's she doing in that diary room? What do you do? What's she doing? Searching for a bloody G spot. Who is it? Chantelle, darling. Oh, she's practicing in there. Oh. Well, Pete's performance is his hit single, You Spin Me Round. housemates have successfully performed in the shopping task so will be rewarded with a luxury shopping budget wow performance that was brilliant that was your song you fucking love it you fucking love it oh you're sorry oh you're sorry oh congratulations oh you can't tell I'm so sure you want it
Michael and Pete are in the kitchen talking about Geordie. I think she's either as thick as pig shit or she needs extreme help or it's very calculated to get, you know, to inflict guilt, anniversary of this death, my dog died, people say my boobs are saggy. It's just like, oh, come on. It's not all about what gets written about, but that's all she cares about, to change the press's perception and make them see what they've done to her. But it's like, not, not going to happen. And people walk up to her in the street and call her a slag and call her this, that, the other. Well, people use words like that. She's going, oh, I'd like a bit of ball action. If the spin the bottle came up, do you want to see my vagina? Oh, I used to lap dance and he came in his pants. It's fantastic. I've had an orgy with five girls at once. I've got all the Polaroids. I've got 5,000 Polaroids from my boy's cocks. I like to watch myself in the mirror really fucking because it makes you out like a porn star. I would never do porn. <laughs> And if somebody says, do you like her? I couldn't say that I didn't like her. I just, I'm cringing. You know, you can take a horse to water, you can't make a drink. You can take a horse to culture, but you can't make a thing. Ten twenty one a.m. All of the housemates are in the bedroom. Nancy. <laughs> I like the red carpet, I do. <laughs> Look at my clouds. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> to demonstrate live in the studio with two porn stars how he took the pictures. So they were stark naked and he was positioning them like this and <laughs> getting in there and we were going to do it all. It's hilarious. <laughs> We were like, go on, show us how you do it. And he was, he was like, right, girls, spread your legs. And they were stark naked. They were just... <laughs> what Did you do it? it too? Yeah, of course. No, I mean, I didn't oh. get naked. I oh. took the camera off him and got in and took pictures of me. Dennis, Maggot, Michael and Pete are in the kitchen. Jodie's got a chance. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, was it meant to make us feel afraid that she said we're all going to end up in her updated version of her book or her pamphlet? So if you take the piss out of her, you're going to end up in a book? Exactly. She must think, particularly me, I'm fucking prick of the world. You know, you get more Liverpool as the days go on. I might have to ask to leave. I can't bear it anymore. Oh, no, you're I can't having bear it. I'm going to have to say something. It's painful. Anyway, there's porn channel right? I was pulling them apart and everything. Oh, the British public called me a slag. I'm losing my rag now, I've had enough, I've got a really short. I thought you got on. No, she thinks we got on. I'm cringing so much, I'm turning my head inside out. But I'm well, fascinated. You're, well, you're keeping it together very well. That's so. like an alcoholic going, yeah. everyone says I'm an alcoholic and I'm going to go, gwah, gwah, gwah. That's a good investment. Okay. Kitchen right, foil, £2.7, seven, yeah. 30 metres. I prefer to wash my ass. All of the housemates are in the living room compiling their shopping list. Pete and Geordie are talking about wearing fur. I think it's really fucking low that you wear a fucking monkey coat. Good. I do. Good. But I'll be honest with you, I do. Good. And it offends me every time I see it on your back. I get off on the fact that my monkey fur coat <laughs> offends you. You do the back. It's only when people like you. You think of people 
think that it's okay to wear fur. Time. No, it's if everybody took the same stance on it and went, it's but wrong, they never right? it's murder, it's That's wrong, wrong. It's they never will. Do you think then fur wouldn't... all our animals is murder? It's yeah. a very strong word, murder. Yeah, I do. Yeah, so we're all murderers, those of us who are about well, to apparent. eat chicken and uh, yeah? steak tonight. We're all murderers, yeah. are we? Right. Please don't get on my back as well. No, you I really don't want this. No, but, yeah. All I want, to, all I'm going to say on this is, I will never sit and preach to you about eating meat. I will never. Okay. No, I do no, think no. it's murder. So see, you're not going to preach about it. I didn't but we're call murderers. him a murderer. I didn't call him a murderer. I said animals are being murdered for their fur. No, you said someone murdered my fur for me. <laughs> yeah, didn't. because you're wearing it. So what we're supposed to do? Let a perfectly beautiful thing go to waste? If someone chopped you up now and peeled all your skin off. I it would be beautiful. Think that was beautiful. I think well, it was I actually hideous. hope that when I'm dead, somebody stuffs me and puts me in a living room. Oh, okay. I don't want that personally. I would like to be embalmed and put on display prominently. You get your head mounted on a wall. Absolutely. Well, that's I'm all for very it. Very wonderful, but yeah, I personally you wouldn't like to see that. But it's all about me. freedom of choice, isn't it? Eskimos live in the frozen north. There's nothing they can wear except the furs of animals. They're not murderers. They're human beings who have to Why wear fur clothes. Why do they coat. live so primitively then? Why do they not have what well, we have today? Frankly, Why do they not have frankly, shops and... I'm not sure you're the best person to lecture the Eskimo on living primitively. Having heard from you, your own mouth, the kind of life you live, I'm not sure that an Eskimo can be described by you as primitive. I'm quite right. Well, they don't have shops and they don't have quite right. computers quite right. and they don't have... No. They choose to live like that, so... They choose they... to live like that. But what, what the hell has this got to do with me? No, you dive <laughs> in there because, because, <laughs> because, I, because you're throwing out words like murderers and primitive. I didn't call anyone a murderer. You George. did. You said I said animals are being murdered for their fur. Did I call you a murderer personally? Did I? Did I? Answer me that. And you answer me that. No, I I'm asked sorry, you. I, I, you I said are... to you, is the killing of all animals murder? And you said yes. And what's I think more, it is. you said that, I'm well, appetising for those of us who eat that. I'm appetising me, and I can't. No, but I'm eating what no, someone don't. else does. So kills. I didn't call you a murderer. Well, I will swear that to you on my mother's life. Hello, bananas are fifteen p each. Yeah, but they'll go off. <laughs> I just don't think you think hard enough about what you say, know, and you don't know, think hard enough about what you do, and then you get very hurt by even a sort of heated debate. You get very upset. No, I get hurt. I'm hurt about this because I do feel like I'm being singled out by a few exactly. people here. Exactly. You put something out there for opinion. No, I'm hurt that I'm being singled out in the first do you place. Think, and that I'm do you being think the people... All right, honey. All right, let's really get down to it now. What do you think, if she's got nothing better to do... What do you think Jordan It was thinking last night when you were saying she had a nose like an ugly old witch from the side? I s Anybody who's interested in I, ordering our food, should like? we go I in there? The because this is impossible. Is it looks like a witch. <laughs> Definitely. It's true. Jordan's going to sit at home and have the last say. You should never have passed comments. Conduct yourself with dignity. I'm sorry that whatever I say comes out of my mouth. It's, it, it is you who's at sorry, because you'll be hurt when you go least... out. No, I won't. I'm hurt right now, because you're all picking on me. Go and go you know what? what? None of you are perfect either. None of who you. Who said we were? So oh shut it. God. She's a complete imbecile. Don't put yourself in the firing line if you can't take the bullet wounds. But you're in here being vicious about her. She's in the other room. You think that's vicious? I'm stating facts. I'm not being vicious. You, th you think I say she's stupid? That makes me vicious. Uh, well, yeah. No, she's really intelligent. She's highly intellectual. And I'm sure her book leaves Dostoyevsky to, ch to shame. It's probably fabulous. I haven't read it yet. She's, she's harming herself on a public platform. I have twice tried to say to her, look, we spoke on the first night that I came in here and you were really upset that people were booing you and you told me all the bad things they say about you. So use this opportunity to correct these That's things. That's what she said she wants to do. But, but in fact, she's used the opportunity to confirm and compound everything that people say about her. She's got the mental capacity of a nine-year-old to me and it's trapped in this body and it's dangerous. Perhaps with a lot of... A lot of she's, I, think, uh, I, think she, I think she's more intelligent than you give her credit. Oh, in which case, really she's extremely calculating with this act of crying on everyone's ass about intelligent... Oh, God, my pain, But the most pain. intelligent people can burst in, into tears when, when they get frustrated, do you know what I mean? Um, some of the housemates are in the bedroom. Marina, did you believe me? That what? That I was who I said I was. Half. 
Huh? Oh, well, for Christ's sake. For crying out loud. Well, I'm telling the truth. I'd never heard of candy floss. Oh, they look. Well, not have I. Don't you wish it? <laughs> oh, you believe me, you have to believe me, so that's yes. enough, OK? <laughs> we're dancing. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we're like, <laughs> something. <laughs> and we're ah! What's up, little boy? Don't call you. me little boy. Pile on. Pile on. Pile on. Pile on. Pile on. Pile on. Jodie's on top of them, suffocating them with her boobies. <laughs> Jodie, she jumped on the bed and decided to put her breasts in everyone's mouth. I'm considered elderly. Uh, I see. Oh, her?